uh, he got married and, and uh, at, at one point he, he sailed uh, a 16 foot boat uh, across <laughs> Bass Strait on his own um, to commission the building of his own boat called the Mary Elizabeth at the uh, Port Adelaide shipyards. And while he was having uh, the Mary Elizabeth uh, um, built, which was named after his missus, um, he took a job um, as a coachman uh, on the estate of a wealthy woman who lived in Crafers in the um, Adelaide Hills above the plains there. And um, every two or three weeks he'd go back down to town and um, uh, go down the port and, and inspect the boat and, you know, make another instalment with his wages. Anyway, this time he was down there, there was a, a three-mastered catch called the Star of Greece and she was looking for crew and my grandfather was a ticketed bosun and um, my great-grandfather was a ticketed bosun and he was sick of being uh, on land so he signed on uh, and was going to leave the next day. He went back to Crafers and told the woman that he was working for that um, that he was going to leave her employee and go to sea. His idea was that he'd get a passage to Sydney and then Sydney back to Adelaide. Anyway, she wasn't very happy uh, with him. Um, we actually think he was banging her. Um, but anyway, um, that night she asked him to go uh, into the uh, coal cellar to get some coal for the fire. And when uh, he was in there, she locked him in. And she kept him in there until the Star of Greece sailed the next day and uh, he missed the boat. Now, the thing about that is the Star of Greece, um, in one of the worst uh, storms in South Australia's maritime history, uh, ran aground um, off the coast of uh, Port Wollonga, about 70 miles up the coast, and almost all hands were lost. Um, now, if you've got a s story like that in your family and you write songs, you're going to write a song about it. In blue, stern of the wind, run with the sea, the thunder across the reef. And out off the coast, semaphore, there's not a sea gull in sight. And the black clouds power in the wind and the rain, it looks like a dirty night. Star of Greece, she got a harbour clearance with a load of grain for home. And the wind is tugging through the rigging, there's a low and a broken moan. Sailors arrive at the crossroads to lines on a chart etched in blue. So the wind run with the sea, thunder across the reef. Kips from Kingston to the furrow, working the wind northwest. There was almost an inch of rain that night, green rolling over the deck. Seventeen hands on the Star of Greece, in the cold and the dark and the rain. And all but six or seven of them won't make land again. Sailors arrive at the crossroads to Lines on a chart etched in blue Stand of the wind, run with the sea Thunder across the reef Twenty miles of course at night Driven too close to the beach Home is a sailor, high from the sea Thunder across the reef
Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? 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 Crossroads to 